let's say, it was a hormone. It happened to be a hormone that women, it's a protein <coughs> hormone, it's a protein that women make when they get pregnant. Are you all with me? And they injected that into an animal, into an animal, and the animal started to make what? Lots of B lymphocytes against this, this hormone, which was attached to cells. Otherwise, it, and, and no, sorry, B lymphocyte. It made antibodies. Go over there. So far. Then he, this is what he took back. Then he took this B lymphocyte. And he took another one that he was growing that was cancerous. It's called the B lymphocyte cancer called multiple myeloma. Didn't I teach you that? Yeah. Huh? And here's what he was able to do. He was able to fuse these. It was a little trick. He fused the two cells together. So now we had a cell that made an antibody against the pregnancy hormone. And it kept dividing and dividing and dividing because it was what? Caught cancer cell? And he never ran out of cells. He just had a big vac, you know, had these cells, and now all he would do is take out of the vac the antibodies, and that's what we use for pregnancy tests. Isn't that clever? Huh? Well, I got news for you. There's over several hundred tests that are done that are using the hybrid element technology. Could have made a fortune, but he was such a nice man.